What's up guys? Welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy, simple Alfredo garlic bread and some salmon. And it was so easy to make and so delicious. So let's get right into it. This is my salmon right here. You can season it however you want to. But I'm going to smear it with some mustard. Uh, I prefer for you guys to use Dijon mustard or anything in the Dijon family. I don't think you should use yellow mustard in this case. But you want to smear the mustard all over. And I'm going to season this with a spice mix that I've made on here quite a few times. So I'll just list the video below or the ingredients below. And you want to put it all over. But again, you can season it however you want with whatever you have in your house. But you want to really pack it on there. As that's set to the side, I'm going to make the garlic butter that I'm going to use to make the garlic bread. To my butter, I'm going to add tons of garlic, scallions, cayenne, um, garlic herb seasoning. And I'm going to mix this up and also going to shred some cheese down in here. Um, I thought I had way more Parmesan cheese than I, you know, thought I had. <laughs> So I ended up using the Munster. I had Munster cheese in the fridge, so I ended up using that. And I'm keeping it pretty simple, but I have lots. It's like a whole bulb of garlic that I chopped up with scallions um, down in here. So now I'm just grating my Munster cheese down in here. I'm gonna mix that up, and that's what I'm gonna use on the bread. Alright, so I'm just going to use this simple baguette right here. <laughs> I'm going to slice it right down the middle. I actually used this bread for another recipe I made the other day, like a few days ago. And I'm just going to slice it down the middle and I'm going to smear it with the cheesy, buttery, garlic, herby mixture. You want to get it everywhere, all over. You want to pop this into a hot oven, which is about 400 degrees. And it's probably going to take about 10 minutes. It doesn't take long, but you do want it to get nice and toasty and brown and bubbly. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Alright, next I'm going to boil my pasta. Of course, you want to salt the water. I'm only using about a half a pound of pasta. This is only just for two of us. So, um, I already used half of it for another recipe. And now I'm just using the other half for tonight. And it did have leftovers. So, if you're only cooking for two people, you don't need the whole the entire box. So, this is my little piece of Parmesan cheese. I had just enough to make my Alfredo. <laughs> So I'm going to grate it and now we're going to move on to making the sauce. Alright, so I'm sauteing some garlic and scallions once again. I'm definitely missing a clip, but that's okay. You guys can still see from the beginning what I'm doing here. I'm just sauteing my garlic and scallions in butter for about a minute or so until it gets nice and toasty. Next, I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream and we're going to season this. Now, you can season this however you want to. I'm just using garlic herb seasoning, garlic powder, pepper. I kept it pretty, pretty simple, but it was still delicious, flavorful, and, you know, good. It was it was good. I love that garlic herb seasoning, by the way. It's, um, it has everything in it. So next, I'm going to add my noodles down in here. And then I'm also going to add my cheese. And then you're just going to mix that up. And look how good this looks, you guys. Nice and creamy, ready to go. You don't want it to be too thick or too dry. Make sure it's nice and loose. So this is my salmon. I'm going to pop it into my air fryer. It's only going to take like 13 minutes, y'all. So I did this dead last. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. Now this is the garlic bread, y'all. Look at how beautiful it is. All right, so now it's time to plate it up. I'm gonna put my noodles down just like this. Sprinkle on a little more cheese just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my beautiful salmon and put it right on top. It's so nice and crusty on the outside. This is why I do it on 380 versus 350. It gives it a good crust and the inside is still nice and moist. You add your garlic bread and pretty much that's it. Like, look how good this looks. Like restaurant quality and you could do this at home. 
I didn't break a sweat making this recipe and it could be the same with you. <laughs> so this is, you know, date night dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It was so easy to make and so delicious. I'll make sure every single thing is down below in the description box. Look how moist and still juicy my salmon is. It's not overcooked. It's just nice and crusty on the outside. That's why I love that spice mix so much. That spice mix is really, really good. So thank you guys for watching. And I love y'all. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, y'all.